it's been a while since I've made a video, so today I'm going to do our meatball that uh, the family raved about, so at least I did. Uh, Annika's here helping me today, and the first thing we need to do is make sure we have all our stuff. So I have a list right here that you guys can't see because it makes it easier for me to remember. I can't remember everything. So first we start off with two pounds of ground chuck, ground beef, whatever. This is, I think, I'm pretty sure it's an 80-20. But you can see there's also a one pound breakfast sausage um, tube in there. Any brand that you want. Um, I think this just gives it a good flavor with the ground beef, the pork breakfast, breakfast sausage. The uh, next thing we put in there is a cup of breadcrumbs. Uh, this happens to be from a local bakery that use, that makes a lot of Italian bread and it just gives it a little bit different flavor profile. Nothing major, but it's just a little different that you like. Um, then we have an egg. Just one. How many eggs? Ooh, very good. And th then we need to do a sweet medium onion. Why don't you go ahead and put that in there. Pick this up. for about two or three hours. So um, anyway, to continue, we're going to end up needing some ketchup, some whole milk, which I didn't get yet. So we did the ketchup, we need a little bit of mustard, not a whole lot. How much mustard does it say there? Can you read it? It says, an, uh, where is it? Oh, two tablespoons of mustard. So here's one tablespoon. Ready? You know what kind of mustard that is? No, do you like mustard? Yeah. 
skin left on the clove, and I don't really want the hard skin from the clove of garlic to go in whatever I'm cooking. And this garlic press will keep the skin off, actually, if you look. That's the skin from the last one that I did. Even though I de-skinned it, it still has a little bit of skin on the outside every once in a while. Smell like? Does it smell like garlic? Yeah. Smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. Not cheap, pretty much anything. So, this I'm going to put back in there just a little bit just to get the ends. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Now, they say if you have a lemon and you wash your hands with lemon, it takes the garlic smell away. But what I'm going to do, since I don't have any lemon, some real lemon juice on my hands and then rinse it with just plain water. Let's see if that works. Tips from Chris. I'll leave making me roll. So do you remember having this last time? You're supposed to say yes. No. You're supposed to say yes and it was great. You don't remember that? What's it smell like? Smell like any garlic anymore? Oh, there you go. No garlic. Like Smells like lemons. Sweet as roses. Right? Okay. So, we are down to our milk that we need. We need an eighth of a cup of milk, which is, I don't have an eighth of a cup, I have to reuse my ketchup one. Okay, you wash your hands, I'll start. Okay. So what we're gonna do, obviously, is we're squishing it all up, mixing it together. Oh, look at that, you got a rag too. Guess they could have shown me a before and after shot. There's there's uh, kind of the pre-mix and everything in there, which obviously we saw put everything in there. You wanna give it a try? Just dig in and do that. Just get in a big pile in it. Old, isn't it? So this is the fun part. Oh, should I let you mix it for a while? Okay, you go ahead and you mix it for a while. I'll let you scrape it down to the edges and I'll So traditionally what people do is they cook this in a pan. Well, I'm not basic traditional for the most part. So we are going to cook this in a frog mat. And if you don't know what a frog mat is, how are you doing there? Good? Give me muscles here. Woo, big muscles. If you don't know what a frog mat is, here's my hand. Uh, frog, we carry frog mat on our site, not that I'm doing a commercial, but it is a Teflon coated material that takes, just keep mixing, you're doing good. The Teflon coated material, that takes up to 500 degrees of indirect heat. That's this. This is frog mat. So I use this on the grill a lot. 
I have different sizes, but I use it on the grill a lot. Um, if I'm going to do um, scallops or shrimp or fish or something that I don't want to have grill marks on or dirty grill marks on, I put this on the grill because it doesn't take long for those. So I put this on the grill at the end of a long smoker, short cook, whichever, and I use a portion. You can cut it with a pair of scissors, not a big deal, and uh, it ends up cooking very good and you don't have all that dirty grill mark on it. How you doing? You want me to finish up? Yeah. yeah? Okay. So this is what you need to do. You need to wash those hands, okay? Put everything in there, okay? Wash your hands really good. Go on over there. Use some of this. Take your stool with you, okay? I'll kick it over. Go on. Go ahead and wash your hands. So as you can see, we're just kind of incorporating everything. This isn't this isn't really dry, but it's not uh, it's not a really wet batch either. Um, if it, if it's mushy, uh, that just means that you got too much liquid in it, or maybe the meat was um, a little bit more bloodier than other meat can be. You know, sometimes how how meat can be really juicy depending on when you get it from the butcher. Um, I like to use as fresh. Sometimes that doesn't always let us. Oops. <laughs> okay, just rinse your hands off. So I try using the freshest meat I can, um, and this is this is getting mixed in pretty good. You can't over mix this, and I would just as soon use my hands because you get a better feel for how it ends up and you kind of want it a uh, consistency of maybe play-doh um, and it's kind of cold play-doh it's kind of like cold play-doh isn't it yeah so you want it kind of this consistency where where you can pack it up almost like um, almost like play-doh it's it's almost like a snow a good snowball consistency too now what what I'm gonna do before I put it on is I'm actually gonna let this rest for a little bit and make sure everything's make sure everything's good and uh, mixed in. I noticed that there was a bottom side had a little bit of extra breadcrumbs in it. And the reason I'm going to let it set is sometimes um, I find that it sweats a little bit and it could use another mix before we put it on. So. We'll be back. You'll see me roll this out and into the frog mat because we're not going to put it in a traditional pan, which is what I was talking about before. We are going to use the frog mat. So when we put it in our pellet grill and smoke it, it will end up being smoked all around. Don't do that, please. Thank you. It'll be smoked all around so you get that good smoke flavor all around. So we will be back in a second. Push that red button. 